all eyes on the state of Georgia. Not one, but two runoff races next month that will decide the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. Yeah, the stakes are certainly yeah. high. Joining us now is the man challenging one of Georgia's Senate incumbents, Democrat John Ossoff. Thank you so much for being with us. And obviously this runoff election just a month away. Talk about your efforts trying to get voters to head back to the polls. How arduous of a task is this? What are you doing trying to encourage them to do so? Thank you so much for having me and great to speak with you. And we are just electrifying a grassroots movement here to turn out and make our voices heard in Georgia because people are feeling hope for the first time in four years. Donald Trump is leaving. We now have the opportunity to write the next chapter in American history to get out of this pandemic and economic crisis, to pass a new civil rights act to secure equal justice for all, to invest in infrastructure and clean energy, to recover economically and get out of this environmental crisis that we face. But we can only do these things by winning these two elections in Georgia. So we're communicating to people the stakes and making sure they know that early voting begins in just a couple of weeks on December 14th. Yeah, you talk about the stakes. As part of that, you're trying to defeat uh, Senator Perdue, a guy that you call the crook. And you are standing by that, you say, even though he has been cleared of wrongdoing. You're talking about these stock trades. He was investigated. He was cleared. He has absolutely said that uh, he, he had nothing to do and did nothing wrong. And he was cleared in that investigation. Are you standing by this idea of him being a crook? And are you accusing him of flat-out insider trading? Well, he certainly hasn't been cleared of wrongdoing. He just hasn't been indicted. What he did is unethical on its face. But the He's investigation was the closed. They, they said they weren't investigating anymore. I want to be clear on, on that. The, the DOJ absolutely said they weren't moving forward and did not find any evidence of wrongdoing. That's not enough for you? And the standard, and the standard, no, it's not. It's absolutely not. It's not enough for the people of Georgia because the standard for a U.S. senator must be higher than merely that he was not criminally prosecuted. He's been telling us all year long he doesn't control his stock portfolio. Well, federal investigators found that he does direct his own stock trades. He was trading banking stocks while he sat on the banking committee. He was trading stock in defense contractors while he funneled taxpayer dollars to them and then cashed out at a profit. He was buying vaccine and medical equipment stocks and dumping his casino shares while he was getting classified briefings on COVID-19. And by the way, TJ, telling the rest of us it was no deadlier than the flu. Whether he has been criminally prosecuted or not, what he did is deeply wrong, a betrayal of the public trust, and he has forfeit that trust and does not deserve to be reelected. There has to be accountability, and it comes at the ballot box. Do you believe the voters are actually choosing between you and your opponent in these two runoff elections, or do you believe that people are coming to the polls to decide the control of the Senate at this point, or do you think it's a mixture of both? What is motivating people, do you think, to make their decision? Look, I think that people understand that these Senate elections will determine Senate control. We've had just four years of miserable division, no constructive progress, so much hateful politics. And now this crisis that's taken nearly a quarter of a million, more now than a quarter of a million lives, jobs and businesses and homes on the line. We can't have just gridlock and government shutdowns and obstructionism. We need to get things done for the people. And we can only do that by winning these two Senate races. I know that you were an intern for the legendary civil rights icon. John Lewis, and as a former boss and mentor, how did he influence you and, and what do you hope to bring to Washington if you are elected that he gave to you? Congressman Lewis had such a beautiful soul and such a clear moral compass. He talked about building the beloved community here in America. That means a place where we recognize that it's foolish to be divided by racism, that we don't have to accept poverty and violence as the status quo. In honor of Congressman Lewis, having lost him this year and with all eyes on Georgia right now, let's unite the people to get out and vote, to secure the basics for people, access to affordable housing and health care, dignified work that pays a living wage, equal justice under the law. That's the America that we have the opportunity to build right now. We don't have to be at each other's throats. We should be focused on writing this next chapter in our history, reaching our highest potential as a people and a country. We're moving on from these last four years. And in order to move on with the hope and energy and inspiration that we deserve as Americans, we've got to win these two Senate races in Georgia.
All right. Well, all eyes, as you know, uh, Democrat candidate for Senate uh, John Ossoff, there is going to be a lot of attention on that state. Already has been, but it will continue uh, to be there. So we appreciate your time. We hope we can check in with you again before those uh, before those runoffs. All right. We'll talk to you again soon. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, and we'd like to note that uh, also extended an invitation to Ossoff's opponent, Republican Senator David Perdue. He was unavailable at the moment, and of course, we want him to know that our invitation remains open and available. Yes. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.